All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Dr. Stone season three, episode 19. In the last episode, uh, EBITDA was successful in petri petrifying the whole island, 2000 meters, 15 minutes, got everybody in it, uh, except one fatal person, the mastermind Senku. Somehow he survived it. Um, they were doing some crazy shit, which I didn't fully understand the episode, but then um, kind of you guys let me know. <clears throat> it's possible that what it looked like they were doing, it like they were standing next to each other, kind of stretching their arms out. They were kind of making like what, like a, a ruler. And so kind of Senku can kind of gauge the distance um, of the petrification beam or maybe how fast it's moving. Because Chrome said it, it, can't, it kept at a kind of gradual speed, like it didn't increase or decrease, um, which is interesting. So yeah, I want to see how Senku's kind of dealt with this because I really don't think he would have been able to outrun the thing and he was very close to like the kind of ground zero point of it. So I guess we'll see. Uh, Ibada now versus Senku, creepy long-fingered man versus science. So let's see how this goes. Anyway guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Last man standing. Let's go. Alright, show me how they did it. Come on. Would that work? I think I said that in like one of the previous episodes. Would that actually work? Like dousing yourself in... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Maybe only one... Maybe only your finger. I love these chrome clutch moments. I don't get why this lining up though, like what... I, I don't get it. Oh, that's why they were putting the hands on. Okay, that's smart. That's really good. That's good, actually. 0.5 seconds for 5 meters. Wait, so 0.5 seconds, 5 meters... One second, ten meters. Hundred seconds. Thousand. Is it, that's like it's like around three minutes, I think, for the whole two thousand meters to go off, if it's accurate. I fucking love how everybody trusts Senku, man. Even Magma. <laughs> oh, so he's gonna throw the the fluid up in the air for it to land on him. Wow, okay. <laughs> I was just figuring out how long it's going to take for the full beam to go off. He's f he's friggin' out some crazy shit. That is crazy! Exactly three meters in the air. Holy shit, Senku. So, what, like, is it going to hit him whilst the petrification beam is still going off throughout the island? Assuming then it's not like a a bubble? Where everything in it, it's just like the outside of the bubble is what's petrifying. This is confusing. So, oh, wow, okay, that's fucking crazy. So he's not even, like, fully petrified for, like, a second. That's nuts. That was in some insane mathematics. Oh my god, Senku. So literally, just swimming in a pool of revival fluid, you can just fully on, full on avoid the petrification beam. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, you, you don't want to be swimming in a pool of nitric acid. <laughs> oh, nice. That's my squad right there. Oh yeah, you can't get inside of me. <laughs> yeah, that's not happening. Gotta wait till Ibera does it. Damn, Senku fought this through quick. A bit of a science user. <laughs> Just a bit. Googling Toyota? What? Self-driving car? How? How have you done that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was pretty simple. Okay. Oh, he got his ass. Let's go. Except it's a sham. <laughs> Yeah, we're not getting self-driving cars in this world anytime soon. Ebert is still around, though. Where is he? Oh, shit. What the fuck? 
Ooh. Oh, he's only stabbed him in the arm. It's fine. It's fine. He'll be okay. Why do he keep speaking about himself in the third person? Weird ass. Oh, he's got armor. Wow. Yeah? Closed his eyes and Senku's already gone? Coward. You're the coward, bro. Hey, why are you walking like that? <laughs> why is he so ripped? <laughs> Bro threw acid at him? Oh my god. This man menacingly walking at him. Oh my god. Oh, is he leading to a cliff? Shit. Is he gonna believe that? Yeah. He's smarter than that. Shit. How do you deal with this, Senku? How? What do we do? Just grab it? Oh no, he's throwing it up. Grab it, throw it in the ocean. I don't know. Wait, what? The wind? Is the wind gonna take it? Wait, I'm confused. Oh, one of them was revival fluid? Okay. Wait. The drone! I knew it! Oh, nice! <laughs> Grab that shit! Come on! Yeah, and the petrification won't work on the drone. Let's go. Oh, we got it! Now, just keep it in the air. we got to keep it in the air for like five seconds. Shouldn't we let the petrification beam go towards Ibero? It's about to go off. This is the longest five seconds ever. Oh my god. Yeah, he's gonna let it go. They need to do it first. They did it first! Come on! What? <gasps> this fucking guy! Nah, that was smart. Nah, how do we... There's no way. How do we counter this? We've already countered a counter and a counter. Oh god. Oh yes! Did he grab it? Oh my god, Ryusui, Jesus. The way he dived on that shit like a grenade, man, Jesus. <gasps> He'll speak into it. Oh my god, you fucking genius. Three meters, one second. Come on. Three meters, instantaneous. Good shit. Oh, yes! Let's go, finally! Senku and Ryu Sui are too smart, man. These quick-thinking decisions. I love it, man. We did it. We fucking did it. Ryu Sui is in bits right now. <laughs> Let's go, Senku. We need more revival fluid. Oh my god. That's that's wild that we finally have this. That is a lot of people to unpetrify. Yeah. I was just gonna say, there's no one else here. Who? Oh, is it I Ishigami Village? Oh. <laughs> oh my god, you're not alone in the world, man. I kind of hit. Ooh. All his friends are still there, and he knows how to get, like, revive them as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. All right, so that was Dr. Stone Season 3, Episode 19. Uh, another very good episode. The conclusion to getting that petrification device was... Oh, had, um, had me on the edge of my seat. Um, the constant counters, the sacrifices. I mean, it's not a huge sacrifice. Like, Ryu Sui diving onto the um, the petrification device and putting the little transmitter on it as well. Because we know we can we can heal him. So, But it was still a very cool kind of moment. Um, he, uh, once again, instantly knowing what's the best course of action as soon as he's revived. Like... Oh man, the the wit, the intelligence of these characters, even the ones that aren't based on intelligence like Senku or Chrome, um, they are still so smart and 
just they're great in battle it's 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 fantastic um yeah overall a very good episode time to make a shitload of revival flow to get all of all of our friends back and uh, we need Yuzi here to um, piece Ryusui back together as well. And a couple of us. But um, yeah. Anyway guys. I want to thank you guys so much for watching my reaction today. Have an interesting day. And peace out.